we are going to learn finding area of polygon. Uh, but for that we need to find out the area of the triangle. First we will learn about the area of triangle. Uh, I have shown two triangles here. Uh, these three sides of the triangle, any one of them can be taken as base. You can take this as base, this as base or this as base. Let us suppose that you have taken side BC as base then you draw a perpendicular from the vertex which is opposite to this side let's say this is A so I will draw a perpendicular from A to BC this will be the base and this perpendicular which is drawn to BC is the altitude now the altitude will be drawn not just to the base rather the line containing the base so this is the line let's say this is line L so uh, this altitude is drawn to the line which is containing this base. Let's take another example. Uh, this triangle, uh, you see, if you draw the perpendicular from uh, this vertex A to side BC, uh, it will not fall inside because then it will be having angle more than 90 degree. So what we have to do is we have to extend this line and then we have to draw the perpendicular from this point to the line, let's say this line L, then this line L will be altitude to the base BC. So what is the area of triangle ABC? Uh, area of triangle ABC will be area triangle ABC that is half into base into altitude. So here if I write base as length of BC multiplied by the altitude, let's call this altitude as AD and this altitude also as AD then uh, the area of triangle will be half base into altitude AD so this is how we find the area of triangle now our next objective is to find out the area of different surface, surfaces different two dimensional uh, polygons uh, I have drawn here rectangle, pentagon and hexagon using the area of triangle we will find the area of these two dimensional shape how will you find the area of rectangle one of the method is you can join these diagonals and then uh, you can find the area of this triangle and this triangle and add them to find out the area of this rectangle this is one method but there may be one more method like uh, you can find you can draw another diagonal and then you can find the area of these four triangles and you can sum up the area of these four triangles to find out the area of the rectangle. Now here we will also use the concept of congruency. I will show you two triangles which are congruent. So we will conclude uh, a relationship between congruency and area of triangle. Because if I overlap these two triangles, then they completely coincide. So obvious, their three uh, sides are having same length, and uh, the area of the triangle is going to be same. So if the two triangles are congruent, their areas will be same. Uh, so we can use this concept that if the, uh, if this triangle and this triangle are congruent, and similarly this triangle and this triangle are congruent. We can find the area of this triangle and area of this triangle after adding you will find the area of this big triangle. Double this area will be the area of whole rectangle. Similar thing you can do in pentagon also. Uh, you have to find out how to divide this pentagon into triangles. You can uh, draw uh, these diagonals and see that this pentagon is divided into three triangles. One, two and three. So uh, you can find the base, let's say this is base, find out the length of the altitude as I have uh, shown you earlier and uh, 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 after using the formula half base into altitude you can find the area of this triangle. Similarly for this triangle you have to find out the base and length of altitude and for this triangle also you have to find the base and length of altitude. After finding the area of triangle 1, triangle 2 and triangle 3, you can sum up the area of all these three triangles and calculate the 
area of the whole pentagon. Similarly, you have to think about hexagon. So now we will proceed to the activity. We will perform the activity uh, of finding the area of hexagon um, on the surface of the table, hexagonal table. So let's see how we proceed. Uh, this is the worksheet and there are some questions written on it. You will read these questions and uh, you will find out the area of the uh, hexagonal, uh, this uh, surface of the table. So here I have checked my three sides are 87 centimeter, 88 centimeter and 79 centimeter and the altitude opposite to side 87 centimeter is 73 okay. centimeter. So by the formula of area is equal to half into base into height, I have put the values half into 87 into 73. So area is 3610.5 centimeter square. And my fellow mate Ananya has found the area to be 3212 and Ms. Kajal has found the area to be 3436.5 centimeter square. So if I add these three areas, so the total area I will get for this hexagon, I need to do the twice of it because both the yellows are congruent, both the reds are congruent and both the greens are congruent by the measurement and by the SSS congruency. So I have twice it directly. So my final area for this hexagonal tabletop is 20,518 centimeters square.